air signs aquarius libra and gemini it is actually here at fire intuition i am here to do your monthly forecast for the month of may let's see what's coming in for you guys my loves let it be great of course if i resonate with you air signs please do like share comment subscribe hit that bell and if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me or like a monthly forecast reading with me fireintuition.com if you guys haven't already please do check out my new online shop my tears have healed my heart.com it's my spiritual online shop all right guys so let's see what's going on with my hair signs for the month of may this is going to be general guys so please do only take what resonates with you let's see overall energy for hair signs Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Rising, also Venus. Let's see what your energy is like. All right, so we have, let's see, Sun and Libra. Enjoy life with music, love, and romance. Serve your higher purpose, Eclipse in Pisces. So let's see what's going on, guys. Let's see what the overall energy is for my air signs. Let's see. For the month of May. Let's see. We have Sun and Scorpio, a passionate, intense, or mysterious phase. So you guys are going through some type of passionate or intense phase. It's a mysterious phase, and there's a love situation involved, all right? This, there's a couple here. I find this has to do with love. It can be something that's very intense, something very passionate. It can be mysterious, like it's a mystery, something that is just coming in towards you guys. All right, at the bottom, yep, see? Sun and Libra enjoy life with music, love, and romance. So this came back out. Okay. So love can be around you guys. It's going to be something very passionate, very romantic, um, very intense. All right. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Let's see Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun Moon Rising, also Venus, monthly forecast for the month of May. that the new month is bringing in for you guys air signs let's see we have the six of pentacles so that looks good this could be in finances so a financial gain a raise a promotion the six of pentacles is also giving and receiving things being equally um it being equal fair balanced all right something that you guys are needing to leave behind and move past we have the nine of wands so perseverance this can also just be for you feeling fatigued trained defensive guarded okay with the nine of wands Let's look at your finances, five of swords. So what's going on with you guys financially, five of swords, like you feel challenged, you're upset, you're mad. It could be about a raise, a promotion, a position. Um, but we're going to see what this is about. I thought I'd clarify. Let's look at your career, six of cups. So I, for some of you guys, I'm just getting that you guys were once really happy within your career and you're not, and that has been a challenge that has been bothering you. For others of you, it's like you're going towards a new job, new career, new position so it's like you feel happy you're like you feel free you're starting to feel more abundant or you're feeling abundant whatever this is it has to do with children so it's like for some of you guys so this can be like a new job with children or it's like for some of you um you're going to be in a better place financially and you guys have children so you're happy about that or maybe you're just thinking about the children or thinking about like your children your family like okay i need to do this i want to do that i feel like i need to be here i need to do this i need to take care of that so we're going to definitely see what's going on with that five of swords within your finances, okay? That can be too many people coming at you at once or someone coming at you and you just kind of feel like stuck financially in a situation, all right? But we're going to see, guys. Let's look at your love life, the seven of cups. So keeping your options open. You guys can be internet um, dating or just keeping your options open with that seven of cups. Let's look at the current blockage this month, the star. Wow, Aquarius energy. But this, the star doesn't look like a, this looks like healing energy. Something coming in for you. We're going to see what this is. It looks like some type of blockage is going to be removed. And something is going to come like 
it's like it's all gonna work out or come together let's see the current blessing six of swords yeah so being at peace going towards calmer waters let's look at the advice page of cups rainbows so don't entertain something like there's someone that is just not giving in like they're not being receptive they're not expressing themselves they're being petty childish immature okay and they're telling you like to ignore that don't give in to that energy let's look at the um potential outcome five of pentacles reverse so the five of pentacles is making progress progression coming out of the cold not no longer feeling breadcrumb by someone if you were in a situation you feel like there was no credit love that's changing um for some of you guys this also could do with your finances and your career some type of change happening coming in and then let's see at the bottom of the deck we have the seven of wands so standing your ground protecting yourself your energy your space under that we have the sun so let's see what's going on um air signs let's see spirit of universe messages for my air signs aquarius libra and gemini monthly forecast for the month of may monthly forecast monthly forecast let's see I have the seven of wands here Eight of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like, I'm kind of getting like, I refuse for you to take everything that I worked hard for and built for. Is what I'm getting. You worked hard on something. Or you're like, I worked too hard. You know, like, I worked too hard to build myself. To be where I'm at. You're not going to take it from me. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. You feel like someone is taking advantage. You feel like you're being used or mistreated. Someone's taking advantage of you financially. Nine of Pentacles in reverse. It has to do with the water sign. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone that you love. The moon is in reverse. Okay. So something is being revealed. There could be someone around you guys that loves you, but they're using you and they're taking advantage of you. And they're using love as a way of like also taking advantage of you. Because they know that you care deeply for them. For some of you guys. Not for all of you guys. Okay. For others of you, you're finally trusting your intuition, how you feel, your heart, you're protecting yourself, your energy, and you're not allowing yourself to be mistreated in a situation. All right, whether it's work, family, friends, whoever. So let's see why the Six of Pentacles is here. But you're standing your ground, you're speaking the fuck up. So let's see why is the Six of Pentacles here for air signs, as far as the energy that the new month is bringing in. Ace of Wands reverse. So there's some type of delay here. Ace of Wands reverse is a delay. It's a setback. Well, then this has to do with finances, money, the Prince of Swords, that's the Knight of Swords, and the Ten of Cups. So you got your heart set on something. You have your heart, your mind set on something. It's going to happen, but it's delayed. Something is delayed. You're going to get the Ten of Cups out of it. Whatever this is you want, but there is some type of delay. Let's see what this delay is. Why is it, let's see, why is it not a wand here? For something to leave behind or move past. The lovers in reverse. So there's a situation that's draining you. You're going through a separation. You need to separate in things. The Knight of Cups. This person is going to try to come back around. Seven of Swords. But there is some deception here. Four of Pentacles. They're holding back information, secrets. They're not being quite honest with you. For some of you guys, you're going towards the love and you're not being quite honest with someone. Let's see how this seven of swords is here. The king of cups and the ten of wands. Someone that just brings a lot of burdens and stress to your life. You're setting and knowing you're setting boundaries. And that's what this energy is here. The king of cups and the moon in reverse. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer. See, as soon as I said it, Cancer, Pisces energy. Could be a Cancer or a Pisces. And you guys are saying no and setting boundaries. You're not letting them take advantage or control you anymore. Or try to control things anymore. Okay? So, yeah. Saying no and setting boundaries when I'm getting um, air signs. So let's see why the five of swords is here. 
for your finances. Let's see, why is the Five of Swords here within your finances? The Knight of Wands. Take, take an action. The Emperor. Take an action, standing in your power. The Strength card. Very confident, very sure of yourself. Overcoming something, some type of challenge. Feeling defeated, feeling challenged. Let's see, Five of Swords, a Death card. There was an ending. Okay, so there was there's going to be an ending to some type of stagnant energy or a long way to offer. You are waiting for an offer. You are waiting for something to change. You are waiting for money to come in. Some of you guys are waiting for child support or something to come in. It's finally coming in. Okay, are you waiting to hear about some money? Um, whatever this is, it's like you've been waiting forever to hear about this. And it's finally coming in for you guys. I forgot to pull your surrender oracle. So let's see what you guys are needing to surrender to. Air signs. And we'll go back and that. Let's see. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. What do you guys need to surrender to for the month of May? What do you guys need to surrender to? Surrender stubbornness. So it says, if you are tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others and yourself. So you need to surrender to stubbornness. Maybe you guys are being very stubborn. Or this could be someone around you guys. All right. Someone is being very stubborn. Let's see, messages for air signs. We have surrender negative thinking. So let's see, you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. So you guys are needing to surrender to negative thinking as well. So someone, some of you guys are being stubborn, being very negative, okay? And it's not helping the situation. But then we have surrender unhealthy relationships. Let go of relationships that don't serve you, including unavailable or toxic people. You deserve to be treasured by others and to be surrounded by positive people. So you guys are needing to surrender to an unhealthy relationship or unhealthy relationships. And it may have you thinking negative and feeling stubborn or being stubborn. Okay. But there was an offer that you were waiting for. Or you guys were arguing with someone or going back and forth about something. It has, for some of you guys, it has to do with a child or money. All right, let's see. Now the pentacles. Yeah, the ten of swords. Feeling betrayed. Feeling backstabbed. Feeling hurt. Um, something didn't go your way. The offer didn't come in the way you wanted it to, or something like that. Or some type of offer. You're gonna be upset. I see the queen of wands reverse. Or you guys were upset about this. Okay, so it could be a Sagittarius. You guys are dealing with with that temperance card. So let's see. Let's look at your career. It seems like something is delayed within your career too. The six of cups. The Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Three of Cups in reverse. So you guys have a job opportunity coming in. For some of you guys, you you got a you recently got a job offer. You feel like you took the wrong offer. You thought that one offer was better for you, and it's not. It's like now it's like you see things differently. It's like they were not telling you everything. They weren't really clear and honest with you about certain things, and you're now seeing it. There can also be like someone in the workplace that you're really cool with and it's saying like don't trust them. But let's look at your career and finances really quick. Let's see. Career and finances for air signs. We have successful funding. So let's see. Your ideas. No, your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into reality. Crown funding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. So if you took a loss financially or someone owed you money or something with like some type of financial situation, it's saying like you have the successful funding coming into you. Or like the universe is going to like grant your, like whatever this is, is like you're going to get approved, you're going to get the loan, the grant, the money. Something is coming in for you guys. It looks like some of you guys are trying to go into like, you know, like businesses or working on your own or some type of partnership. I'm also getting like there's a job that wants to take you back, but you're not sure. But then there's two offers that came in and some of you guys took a job offer. It wasn't the offer that you thought, like the offer you took, it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. It's not going to be what you think it's going to be. Um, and you may want to see if the other offer still stands. Let's see. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. All your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your projects. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that 
your flow of abundance continues. Okay, and it says it's safe for you guys to receive. So it's like you may feel like you were getting played or someone was playing you or being shady. And it's like even if that was to happen, the universe definitely had your back. Okay, obstacles and blocks are going to be lifted. Something is going to be lifted and changed. For others of you, you have the resources. Like you have the resources. It's like money's going to come in regardless. You're going to be good regardless. Okay, you are going to be good regardless when it comes to your career and finances. the seven of cups when it comes to your love life like i said a lot of you guys can be doing like online dating stuff like that keeping your options open talking to multiple people for a sword so some of you guys are taking a break on love you guys are just getting back out there two of pentacles in reverse there's no one that you're talking to that you like made up your mind about or made a decision about we have with the nine of wands you guys are still kind of guarded not fully open yet okay for some of you guys three of wands there is someone that you guys are going to move forward with or may move forward with but i see as of right now it's like you guys some of you guys are not like your main focus is your money your career it's not really love for some of you guys for others of you you're dating several people or just keeping your options open and you don't feel like you've met someone just yet but someone is also coming in or you are going to decide to move forward with someone all right so let's see messages from my air signs when it comes to love air signs when it comes to love air signs when it comes to love camera reminiscing perception learn from the past make memories so a situation in the past so we have separation here so sadness missing you thinking about you unsure future so there's someone that you miss and you care about but you're unsure about the future between you guys i thought you took a break on love but now you're like getting yourself back out there dating for some of you guys um it looks like you guys are going to meet someone some of you guys do travel for work and you're going to meet someone while traveling are you guys are going to meet someone while traveling um, let's see. Let's see. We have date. Yep. See, meeting, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan a set of date. Some of you guys are in a karmic relationship with a karmic relationship card. That could be the person that you're separated from. And that can be the reason why you are like kind of feeling sad or thinking about the past or reminiscing. But it's also telling me that you guys are going to be dating are meeting someone new or soon will be meeting someone new and dating and getting your, like getting back out there all right so let's see we have the star here for where you are currently blocked at this is aquarius energy the queen of pentacles yeah it's telling you to stay grounded and this is not a blockage. You guys were kind of blocked financially. You guys thought you were blocked financially. You guys have a blessing coming in for you. All right. With the Queen of Pentacles here, the star, the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are overcoming some type of blockage. The Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Money is looking good or will be looking good. Whatever this is, the successful funding, it's going to come in for you guys. Okay. I'm also hearing that like, I don't know if you guys apply for something like a home loan or like you guys apply for something you know, like through like maybe it was like a like a COVID relief or something like that. You guys are gonna get a blessing and that like that's gonna definitely come in for you guys. Something like that. It's like you guys are gonna get some unexpected funds or something like that. Something that is gonna help you out with in your home, Ten of Pentacles. All right. So there there was there I don't see a blockage right now. And we also have obstacles and blocks are lifted. So you guys are coming out of a blockage and going towards more happiness, fulfillment, more money, staying grounded balance um yeah six of swords going towards peace happiness three of pentacles you guys do have a new job offer coming in and i, I get this ten of wands in reverse again like saying no and setting boundaries so you guys are saying no setting boundaries accepting a new job offer is what i'm also getting or something changing within your finances and career yeah we're moving blockages so let's see why the six of swords is here this is a blessing Six of Swords, Five of Swords, mm, okay, and the Page of Cups, and the Empress in Reverse. 
So the blessing here is that there was a situation that took a toll on you. The Empress is coming up in reverse, deeper energy. But now you're taking action and stepping back into what? The Empress. Okay, and you're going towards peace, happiness, calmer waters. And this is the new beginning, the birth of something new. Okay, so you are recovering from some type of past situation, issue, hurt, pain. Some of you guys just had children and some of you guys are like snapping back into like, you know, your original size or you're just ready to like go back to you and, you know, stuff like that. So that looks good, but you're going towards peace, happiness is what I'm also getting. We have the Page of Cups coming up in reverse. For my air signs. And this is the advice. Queen of Wands in reverse. So don't let something, don't let someone ruin your day, your week, your month. Don't let something make you upset. Five of Cups in reverse is telling you to heal and move on from this. So it's like, like, don't be petty, don't entertain it, don't fall, don't fall for it, don't let someone make you mad, don't let someone steal your joy, make you upset. The magician, manifest new beginnings for yourself with the tower. You guys have a blessing in the sky, something huge, a change, something out of nowhere changing and happening for you, okay? King of Pentacles, where you're, yeah, you're bringing a more security and stability for yourself, all right? So this looks good. I feel like whatever this is, it's like, it's pretty much telling you for the advice is like, don't entertain something. There was a third party situation around you guys. And I feel like you know what to do about that situation and how to move forward. Okay. So let's see. We have the five of pentacles coming up in reverse. And this is the potential outcome for the month of May for my air signs. So let's see air signs. We have the fool. Headed down a new path. Love it. New beginnings. We got five of pentacles in reverse. Things changing. Nine of swords. I feel like you are kind of like nervous, scared. That can be anxiety, stress. Six of wands, but you're still moving forward. And you guys are taking this new offer, this new opportunity, this new beginning, whatever it is with the page of pentacles, whatever is being presented to you, you're moving forward. Six of wands, victory, success, forward movement. So you guys are moving forward. So a lot of things are changing and happening for you guys. And you guys have a lot of options, a lot of choices when it comes to love, work, all of that, okay? So keep your options open. Don't just, don't rush into making a decision. Don't, like if it's the job offer, don't take the first job. Like if you know you applied to several places and that's just not what you really want, you know, another offer is coming in. When it comes to love, keep your options open. Don't fall for the first person that likes you or that hits you up first or whatever. It's just saying like, just keep your, your options open, okay, is what it's saying. Let's see messages for um, air signs. What do you guys need to heal? Or what are you guys healing air signs? Okay. Help from above. Love it. Number 27. So you guys, what you guys are healing from is like, you guys are allowing the universe to step in. You're allowing help from above. You guys prayed. You guys asked. Your prayers are being answered. You guys are believing, trusting, having faith in the universe. God, spirit, whoever you guys believe in spiritually, your ancestors, your angels, spirit gods, whoever you guys believe in, you are trusting the universe. You are trusting the help from above, okay? You are trusting them. You have faith and trust that things are going to happen and change. So you're giving all your worries, concerns, issues, problems to the universe, and you're trusting the process, okay? That's what I'm getting. And I love that for you guys. All right. So air signs, I will be extending your reading in the extended. I'm going to look more into your finances and your career, your love life. And I'm going to pull some blockages. I'm going to see where you guys are blocked at in the heart and in general. And then I will pull some additional spirit messages on the other side. All righty. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. See you lots of love and light. Bye air signs. Oh yeah. The link to the extended will be pinned in the comments below. All right. Bye loves.